is here. He is the creator and artist behind the comic strip The Boondocks. Just two months after its national debut, newspapers in 195 cities have signed up for the strip. It makes it one of the biggest launches in comics history. From the hood to the suburbs, I question what I see. I question what they tell me. I wonder if there's a hero. If so, who would that be? My own people don't even listen to me. And these are the thoughts of my main character, Hugh. I mean, everything we see is a false reality. It's like Big Brother, The Matrix, whatever you want to call it. While we're watching each other, they're watching us. Man, listen, if it's not about that bling, if it's not about that green, I really ain't trying to hear it. I'm trying to shine. I ain't really trying to waste my time. You talking all this education? Man, I'm trying to get this money. Riley. I don't get it. You guys got eleven dollars. Why you dumbass robbing people? Cause I'm an American. Shit. It's the American way, man. Shit. Who the fuck was you raised in a third world country? With so many perspectives, you would need a dream team to make this a reality. And that's sure enough what the boondocks did. Led by Regina King, who voiced both Huey and Riley, they made this dream possible. Even when it looked like the world wouldn't understand, they sure enough did. The next Peabody Award goes to The Boondocks, The Return of the King. In a series noted for its satirical edge, this episode is a scorching critique of contemporary culture. It drives viewers to consider what has been done and what is still left undone. The only voice that we desire is the voice of the king. But what exactly would the king say now? He just said what I think he said. Is this it? This is what I got all those ass whoopings for? If our ears weren't so brittle, we would understand the message. But I guess... You warned them. They wouldn't listen to me. They never listen to me. I know you want to save the world, Shuri. But sometimes people have to learn lessons on their own. The hard way. Obi-Wan Kenobi said, your eyes can deceive you, don't trust them. It seems to be getting harder, distinguishing reality from the illusions people make for us, or from the ones we make for ourselves. I don't know, maybe that's part of the plan, to make me think I'm crazy. It's working.